In this video, we are going to study linear regression analysis of variance or ANOVA table in Python using Jupyter Notebook. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Okay, so let's go into the web browser where the Jupyter Notebook is located. So the first step within the video regarding the Jupyter Notebook is that we need to add a new cell below. To add it, we click here on the Insert Cell Below button. And the first step regarding the code is we need to import the corresponding packages. Therefore, we comment this as step one, which is packages. And for this, we're going to import statsmodels.api as SM. We're importing that feature from statsmodels for data downloading and for analysis of variance or ANOVA table calculation. Then we're going to import statsmodels dot formula dot api as smf we're importing that feature from stats models for multiple linear regression calculation to run this code lines or this cell we can either click run or press shift enter on the keyboard then we continue with step number two which is a data for data we're going to create an object named house prices underscore object which is equal to sm feature from stats models dot data sets dot get underscore r dataset and we open parenthesis first parameter which is data name equals to and within quotations we have house prices comma package equals to and within quotations aer comma cash equals to true so what we're doing here is the following we're downloading house prices object from our package aer and with cash equals to true means that once we download the data we save it locally so we don't need to go and download it again every time we run the code Notice that this will download data and documentation within house prices object. Therefore, we are going to create a new object named house prices with only the data, therefore equals to house prices underscore object, and we get its dot data attribute. So let's go ahead and print part of this data. And we do so with print, and within it we have house prices, the object with only the data, dot ILOC, integral location, and within brackets we have the following. Semicolumns, meaning we're selecting all the rows from columns 0 through 3 Python notation, that's the first three columns, and we get its head method so we can visualize only the beginning of this data frame. So to run this code lines or this cell, we press shift enter on the keyboard and we can visualize part of the data. We have the first five rows and the first three columns of data of price, lot size, and bedrooms. The reason we're only visualizing this is that we're going to fit a multiple linear regression in which price is the dependent or explained variable, which has been explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size and bedrooms. If you want to read the full documentation of this data, you can do so with the following code line, which is print, and from house prices underscore object, we get its dot to underscores doc to underscores attribute. And as it is a single code line, we press shift enter on the keyboard and we can see the full documentation below. So now we continue with step number three, which is the model. For this, we're going to create an object named MLR, which stands for multiple linear regression, therefore equals to SMF feature from stats models dot OLS or in least scores function. And within it, we have the following parameters. Formula equals to and within quotations, because this is a string, we have price as a dependent or explained variable. The special character means being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size plus bedrooms, comma, data equals to the house prices object we create above, and we fit this regression, open and close parentheses. And we want to print the summary results of this regression, and we do so with print, and from the MLR object, we get its dot summary, open and close parentheses method. So to run this code lines or this cell, we press shift and turn the keyboard and we can see the OLS or ordinary least squares regression results. We have the F statistic and its p-value. This is the F test with the joint null hypothesis that independent variables coefficients are equal to zero. This is part of the analysis of variance or ANOVA table. Also, we have here degrees of freedom for residuals and the model, also part of the analysis of variance or ANOVA table that we will do next. Here, we can also focus on the coefficients for intercept and the independent or explanatory variables of lot size and bedrooms. So now we continue with step number four, which is analysis of variance. 
or a NOVA table. For this, we're going to fit a new regression within the object name LR1 because we're going to fit a linear regression which only has constant or intercept, therefore equals to, and we're using SMF feature from statsmodels.ols function for ordinary least squares, and within it the parameters formula equals to, and within quotations because it's a string, we have price as a dependent or explained variable, special character means being explained by, and in this case, as mentioned previously, we only have constant or intercept, therefore we have one because constant or intercept is a column of ones. Comma, data equals to the house prices object we created above, and we're going to fit this regression, open and close parentheses. And with this, we can proceed with analysis of variance or a NOVA table calculation. For this, we're going to create an object named ANOVA equals to, and from SM feature from stats models, we have dot stats dot ANOVA underscore lm function and within it the following parameters first the regression with only the constant or intercept therefore lr1 comma the multiple linear regression m l r the one that includes the independent or explanatory variables of lot size and bedrooms comma test equals to and within quotations f so this is going to do the f test and then we have typ equals to and within quotations one so this is going to do an ANOVA test one. Notice that the parameters from this ANOVA LM function, the regression with only the constant or intercept, the multiple linear regression with the independent or explanatory variables, test equals to F for the F test, and the ANOVA one type of test, parameters were only included as educational examples, therefore they're not fixed and they can be modified according to your needs. And then we can proceed to print the results. So we are going to print the ANOVA object with the corresponding table. So again, we can run this code lines or this cell by pressing shift enter on the keyboard. And there we have the analysis of variance or ANOVA table. So first we begin here with the total degrees of freedom and below we have the residual degrees of freedom. Then we have the total sum of squares and below we have the residual sum of squares. Then below here, we have the regression degrees of freedom. Besides, we have the regression sum of squares. Besides, we have the F statistic and the associated p-value. These were also printed within the multiple linear regression summary results that we printed above. So this is the F test p-value with the joint null hypothesis that lot size and bedroom square coefficients are equal to zero. If rejected, adding lot size and or bedrooms improved linear regression model. If not rejected, adding lot size and or bedrooms did not improve linear regression model. Okay, so with this, we finish with the code file, so we can go ahead and save it. And with this, we also finish with this video. Thank you for watching.